Hello out there, casual fanatics. Jeremy here. Welcome to episode 8 of Pokemon Academy Life. In the last episode, we found out that this game was a lot shorter than I thought because it's still a demo. I should have known this, and yet I didn't. In this episode, well, we're going to try and do a little cleanup work here, actually. I'm not by any means a completionist, but we are going to uh, play around a little bit and uh, reset a second uh, playthrough. But before I do that, uh, um, I do have a few things that I want to check on here. Uh, as you can see in the final build of the game, there and these will actually play a role. Various different uh, traits uh, that are in various different stages. Uh, expression, intuition, appeal, and talent. Uh, basically how you can level up your character, I guess. And then we have the uh, character cards. Uh, we did not unlock any instructor cards or any general staff, but we did unlock a few students. Um, ours, Kanto. Uh, ours, of course. Uh, look very much like the uh, character cards or, or, or trainer cards. Fuck you, Blue. Callum. Kierno, Trevor, etc, etc, etc. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the uh, main title screen. And um, we are going to start a new game. But before we do that, I do want to... Um, yeah, we're, we are um, going to... Uh, yeah, skip our <laughs> skip all the text there that uh, we have already seen. Try and uh, speed that up here. Yeah, we saw this part earlier, so. All right, going through all the stuff that we did earlier. And now we get to start up a new name. For this one, I'm gonna roll a comp. I'm just gonna do random here. I'm gonna take. I'm going to do this five times. I'm going to roll a d20 and a d6, and combine the two to get letters of the alphabet from one to twenty-six. So. If I can remember what letters of the alphabet are in what position, at least. Alright, so 2 and 4, so 6, C, D, E, F, F. Uh, 20, so... Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, I think? Let's see. Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T. Okay, so it's T. Seventeen. Okay, so seventeen. So that's three less than T. So at so S R P. All right, twenty-two. So V and one more. I'm going by memory, and my memory is usually not that great, so. Uh, 18 plus 6 is 24, so that is X. Fitvix! That's our name. Fitvix. Fit. 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 Fitvix. Fitvix. What a very, um,. Very, um, uh, web 2.0 kind of name there. Alright, so. 
Alright, uh, this time I'm only going to use a d4 to pick this one because I'm not going with the same options that I went before. We were on the same bus, and why are we racing again? One, so, one to two, two to four. Or one to two, three to four. Three, why are we racing again? I had no idea we were racing each other. I guess you win. What? Racing? Look, foot <laughs> It's the only way to motivate your lazy. <laughs> I love screwing myself, don't I? Phrasing, bird. Phrasing. Thanks, I appreciate the completely warranted concern. Oof. I had a nickname for him when we were kids. What was it again? You know what? Let's go with let's go with the five with the five and twenty-six gimmick again, so. Uh seventeen and six, twenty-three, so. Uh, W. Eight and four, twelve. So, let's see, that's F, G, H, I, G. Let's see, G, H, I, J, K, L. Seven. So let's see. F G H. I swear to God, if this ends up being like an E or an M, I'm gonna cry. Eleven. So twelve was L. So that's K. And 12. Will Heckle. <laughs> Will Heckle. <laughs> I don't know, that's just perfect. <laughs> I used to call him Will Heckle. Anyway, the important thing is you're late and the best rooms are getting reserved left and right. Don't tell me you haven't even found a roommate yet. Alright. Uh, yeah. You know what? No. We're not. Just because I'm doing all different things doesn't mean I'm fucking rooming with Blue. Fuck him. I'm just gonna go this way. Foot Pavix and Will Heckle. Foot Pavix. But Pavix and, ha and Heckle. Will Heckle. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, random. Random shit was random. Um, I think this is probably Brendan here. Um. I'm actually going to go with Sharon, though. A pressed, a a well-dressed, somewhat stuffy-looking boy. His thoroughly cunning eyes are locked onto his watch. I wonder what he's waiting for, but it doesn't seem like he's in too much of a hurry. When are they? Oh, hello. Can I help you? What should I ask? Well, what's your name? It's, uh, Sharon. Well... This is quite sudden. If you think that's sudden, get a load of this. But he doesn't seem like the kind of guy with patience for long introductions. I'll keep it short. Hello, Footpavix. So we both had to take rather long trips. I opted to go by road as well. Pallet Town's just as far from here as Nuvema Town. You know where that is? It's from the Unova region. I trust you've heard of it. I do. And not a lot of many people know about Pallet Town, so I'm stoked about that. Indeed. Hey, listen. Do you have any idea when we'll get called for orientation? That's pretty much the only thing I'm looking forward to today. What orientation? Oh, yeah. That thing that every freshman has to go through. But I didn't, didn't see anything about one when we got here. I don't remember Will Heckle mentioning it either. 
What should I ask next? Uh, let's cut to the chase. Never mind the orientation, but any chances you're looking for a roommate? Yes and no. I was hoping to get more information about what's happening with orientation push. I thought I could double up by being here. But to be honest, I was thinking about arranging a single room. Nothing to do with you, of course. I believe I can get more things done in a solitary environment. Hmm. Maybe needs a little push? Alright, um, I'm gonna go with a D4 because never mind is not an option. Pokemon battle! If I win, we rule. Tell you what, man. Let's have a Pokemon battle. And if we win, if I win, we'll rule. Appeal decrease. Pissed off Sharon, who's now my roommate. Took a little push, but I feel Sharon could be could potentially be a valuable connection. You seem to be very focused and logical. I have no doubt in the coming days, months, and years as a student in this academy, he can climb to great heights. Now the two of us will try to cross an item off the to-do list by reserving a room in the academy's residence hall. Sharon and I immediately headed right for the lobby. There weren't too many students gathering just yet, but the number is clearly growing. Still, we moved at a steady pace. No urgency, but fast enough that it doesn't feel like we're wasting our time. Hey, do you have any specific goals you want to reach while attending the school? Um, Learn as much about as possible about Pokemon to learn as much as I can about Pokemon here. The answer's kind of boring, but straightforward, right? I see. Well, that's important, of course, but to each his own. I'm thinking about starting with the student council. I think being involved with the staff and fellow students here would be a huge learning experience. And of course, there will be plenty of lessons to apply outside of school. I can't say I'm surprised about Sharon's aspirations. I mean, I can definitely see him standing on stage and addressing several hundred students. But regarding my own plans... I don't see the need to rush to decide everything now. Who knows where I'll end up here? Just because I gave an answer doesn't mean my path is set in stone. Looks like it's our turn. Let's get this done. Sharon and I managed to get in line to reserve our room. The sign-up lines were growing longer but by the minute, but we managed to get here before it got too unreasonable. As first-year students, we don't have too many choices for room locations. It seems rooms on the second floor are the most desirable ones, seeing the upperclassmen have reserved them already. Sharon and I didn't talk much the entire time we were in line. And even though we just met, I'm already curious as to what's going, really going on inside that head of his. First floor is fine, Sharon finally said while we finished signing our respective documents. As long as it doesn't get too noisy, I'm okay with it. We ended up reserving a room on the first floor over the third floor. It would have been arbitrary, jury on my end. But Sharon picked the room without wasting a moment. Right. Like I mentioned earlier, I'd like to find out more about orientation. Do you have something you need to attend to? I feel like he wants me to tag along with him, but I don't know if I should call him out on it. The guy did say they will send my stuff up once the room's reserved, so maybe I should check in just in case. I think I'll go check on my stuff and see if make sure everything's okay. Every set up belongings will be delivered to our room. They're not going to dump everything in the hallway. I hope that's not what you're paranoid about. I'm not paranoid. I was just making sure. Hmm. You're going to be here anyway. You're better off sticking around and helping me find more information. Sounds like Sharon really wants me to stick with him for now. Jeez, this might get rough if dragging me everywhere becomes a thing. Who does participate with the student council these coming years? I'm not sure what position that'll put me in. Uh, I guess I'll stick around. Good. Excuse me. 
I heard there's an orientation event for some new students sometime today. Do you have any more information about that? You can probably find more information on s about it on some of the boards around back. If not, there should be an announcement. This academy generally does a good job with notifications. Thank you for the help. Enjoy your gay. En Enjoy your gay. Yeah, that too. Enjoy your day, champs. I'll be checking the boards on the other side. I'll be checking my phone. I'm not sure what else I should be doing. All right, all right. I'll take a look around. And here's where we got lost earlier. So, um, yeah, I, I'm going to call this episode a little bit early. It's only been 15 minutes. Um, but I really don't have anything else I was thinking of doing with this. Two more episodes I managed to squeeze out of this. Two more episodes. Honestly, I'm kind of, I'm really sad. I wish that there had been more that we could have done with this. Um, if you find any more games out there, though, that are similar to this, uh, please let me know, everyone. Um, I will tell you this, I will not do Asagawa Academy. Uh, I find the idea of uh, dating sim with real people in it, uh, even real people who did have input in it, and that was made with their blessing, I find that a little off kilter. I'm not doing Nekapara, <laughs> because I'm not, I don't want to do anything that's, you know, got questionable uh, ideologies in it. Um, I mean, it's something akin to this where, you know, it's very tasteful and a, a good homage to, you know, the, um, the source material. That's something I'm looking for. You know, something akin to this. Something that feels like it would fit in that universe albeit with some playful tweaks um also i would prefer something that's freely available uh not something that's in a web browser <laughs> and definitely no hentai so yeah just i'm laying those down so I'm going to try and figure out what I can do in the meantime, but uh, this has been a fun eight episode ride. I wish it was longer, but you know we can't always get what we want. So I'll just hop back here to the title screen. Uh, yes, unsafe changes will be lost. Thank you for joining me in Pokemon Academy Life. I'm sorry to disappoint you at not being able to chase an active route, but I will keep that on hand uh, in case the f I find out that the full version of this has come out, and then I will um, I will come back to this game and try and play it through and chase down my girl Sabrina. Be because, I mean, that's what you want, and honestly, I don't mind it. So, until next time, uh, this is Jeremy, and as I forgot to say last time, keep it casual, y'all. So I'll say it twice. Keep it casual, y'all. <laughs>